Welcome to another edition of Talk City Greensboro, produced by GTN, featuring interviews and events happening around town. It's an easy way to stay in the know while you're on the go. Subscribe to Talk City on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or SoundCloud so you can keep up with what's going on in Greensboro City government. I'm your host, Josh Johnson, and with me today, back from assignment, is <laughs> <laughs> my good friend and co-host, Rosemary Plyman. So happy to be here. Hello, everybody. Our guest today takes his passion for art and communication and combines it into unique and empowering opportunities for young minds in Greensboro, the Triad, and far, far beyond. Sterling Freeman is author and illustrator of the children's book, Good Night, Little Dreamer, and Wake Up, Little Dreamer, two books. Also the creator of Little Dreamer's character art classes attended by students around the world online. Isn't that cool? He's a speaker, presents live virtual talks, reads to children in schools, and just an all-around fun (laughs) guy. So happy to have you. Welcome, Sterling. Hey, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for coming, Sterling. So I have to tell the story really quickly. Uh, I was over at the Cultural Center to do an interview with a wonderful young man named Jordan T. Robinson, who's got um, a residency at the Grove Center. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) And so I'm waiting on Jordan. He had car trouble. It was crazy. He was late. Uh, and this handsome young man comes walking through, and I just assume that he's Jordan. And I'm like, hey, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and Sterling goes, yeah, I'm, yeah hey, let's, hey, how you let's doing? do the interview. <laughs> right. He's like, what are we talking about? Right, what are we talking about? <laughs> so we talked and chatted, and I was like, he told me what he was doing and what he did, and I'm like, man, we got to have you on the show. So, Sterling, thanks for coming. Man. Love it. Thank you. Thank I'm glad you. it all worked out. <laughs> so you were pretty busy at an early age. It's my understanding that in the eighth grade you had your own clothing business, and by 15 years you had a clothing store have you always been this seen this like connection between art and communication and entrepreneurship like where does that come from well I've definitely always been an art person uh so always drawing and coming up with ideas and stuff uh and that kind of was my form of communication Mm -hmm. I did athletics and everything else but if I had an idea I had to get it out but um for entrepreneurship I would say that definitely came from my family our parents are both entrepreneurs, and they instilled that in us early. And so if we had some ideas. They were like, well, you know, you, know, you could also <laughs> make great. this into a little something. So, yeah. But uh, the business was called Expressions Custom Art Apparel, and mm-hmm. I did logo designing, uh, embroidery, also fa- fabric paint, yeah. T-shirt designing. And That's so cool. It was a really cool experience. On your website, it said that you did, like um, – you did um, custom stuff for kids in school, like for their notebooks. You would draw. Oh yeah, yeah. that was my like, first. When business. you first, <laughs> first, first, when I yeah. was like about eight or eight or nine years old, you have the little where people would draw their names, yeah. Their yeah. binders, yeah. and then I would just do that for all my classmates, That's and then great. they'd pay me like two, three dollars. Perfect. And then it's I a went start. To the, well, then I ended up in the principal's office because you can't ah. solicit at schools, but. <laughs> <laughs> But I was I was waiting for that. <laughs> no, I mean, that's you know that just showed your you know that you were you know creativity, this, your creativity and your entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship. Yeah. The passion yeah. is there. It's about the heart. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I think that should be encouraged. Okay, <laughs> so so how did you go from that to to all the things you're doing now? I mean, what was your progression? Well, I would say from uh, the business that I had in high school, uh, going into college, you know. I really was trying to find what my real purpose was as an artist. And Mm -hmm. I had a professor uh, named Roy Carter, who was the director of the uh, arts program. And he had something that he had told me that really stuck with me about finding your message Mm -hmm. as an artist. What is it that you want to communicate? What type of conversation do you want to have? And that really stuck with me and inspired me. I've always wanted to inspire people with my art. Mm -hmm. And I was also really into... uh, like electricity is like symbolism and stuff, kind mm-hmm. of like energy and reaching your full potential. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so uh, it became, I had my three E concept it's called to energize, enlighten and empower people. I love and it. So that was the goal for my art. Nice. And yeah. where did, where did you go to school? At A&T. There okay. we go. Right. A&T right. State we University. Gotta, got there. We got to get that Aggie out. Pride. Yeah, that's yes. Right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So then uh, the children's book, when did, when did this start for you? The children's books. Now, leading off of that uh, thing I was saying that my professor had taught me uh-huh. about having the conversation, a lot of times you want to be have that you want to have that inspirational conversation with adults, but also younger people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, I was trying. It started off as another art project. I told you, <laughs> whenever I have an idea, I got to get it out. But uh, I wanted to see how I could take 
the conversation of the importance of sharing information and present it to a younger audience as well. Mm -hmm. And so I used the metaphor of a child being able to not really go to sleep. Right. And then his mother teaching him how to count sheep. Mm -hmm. And through that, he's able to accomplish his goal. But it's a metaphor for sharing information because we can't do better until we know better. Mm. Yeah. And so. So true. That was how that first one started. And then it kind of started rolling from there. But, uh, (laughs) you know, yeah. Cool. So in addition to the books, um, which are fantastic, you're also, I don't know if you coined this phrase, but teacherpreneur. (laughs) <laughs> I don't think that's my phrase. I've heard it a couple of times. You've heard it a couple of times? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're teaching art skills to kids from around the world, and your style of teaching them how to draw is incredibly cool. So tell us about that. Well, the classes are called Little Dreamers Character Art, mm-hmm. and I teach kids how to draw using numbers, letters, and shapes. Right. And so really it's to bridge that gap. Sometimes people think that penmanship is separate from art. Art skills. But, yeah. you know, you're drawing symbols to communicate Mm -hmm. that's right and so i think bridging that gap helps with the learning curve especially in those early childhood development stages Mm -hmm. where they're already learning their numbers letters and shapes you bring it into the concept of drawing it helps with their practice it helps with their confidence with learning new skills in art and um it works out really well i love i love it the kids love the classes as well Uh, i probably have about a community of 2100 students Mm -hmm. wow right now uh it's through an international platform called out school Mm-hmm. Uh, based out of Britain, and so I'm able to reach across the world. And, and you're doing this, I mean, all day, every day. About seven classes a day. I mean, that's uh, a lot. Tuesday to Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So quite a few students. I'll probably see about, I'd say, 30, 40, 40 students yeah. on average a that's day. That's really so. cool. And, and you said, you know, you're, you're teaching them skills, things that they didn't think that they could do, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I think about that a lot and how that can, like, translate into what else can I do that I yeah. didn't think I could do? Or what else can I do that maybe my parents didn't do or that the people around me, you know, what more can I be and do right. and, and accomplish? And and we get that positive vibe from you. I mean, is that, I, I get that that's kind of where you're going with this. It's not just yeah. about the art. It's not just about the reading. No, uh-uh. it's definitely uh, tied into not just education, but also life education. You know, I feel that in the information age, uh, the type of information that you're taking in is also very important because there's Mm -hmm. so much out there. And then also as our society updates with technology and stuff, we also need to be updating on how we learn and also updating as people, Mm -hmm. you know, because that conversation and how we work together is always changing and improving. So, yeah, awesome. That's very cool. I, it works with me. I watched the video on how to draw a capital P and turn that into a parrot. Uh-huh. <laughs> very cool. Uh, where uh, Where is it? Where yeah. is the parrot? Tell us uh, Tell us where to go. No, no, I want to see your parrot. Oh, no, I didn't draw it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? I, I watched him. How can you draw it? Watched... <laughs> we'll talk about that later, Josh. I mean, really. Yeah. I, I, you know, about halfway, I really felt like I could draw you it. You could. Which yeah. was great. You, and that was enough for yeah. you. Okay, okay. It's very doable. <laughs> right. I'm like, I can do this. Yeah, that's what it's all about. But, yes. but um, the classes can be found on my website, mm-hmm. uh, littlelightseries.com. I have this services section where you can see about the books, mm-hmm. also Little Dreamer's character art, and then also uh, visits that I do to schools. I do right. readings and also um, some online after-school classes mm-hmm. for kids right. and stuff. And so you can read all about that there. It's so fun. So what is next for you? Well, besides another book, ah, uh, so there will be a, yeah, there will be another book uh, called have a good day, little dreamer. Mm-hmm. And nice. so all of these are going over the course of a day. So you have the uh, night time and then you have dawn and then, and then the day. And maybe eat day. your vegetables, little dreamer. <laughs> your, that, that, there could be a side series, you know, there could be a side series. That's a good idea. Right. You might want to help write it. Okay. Yeah. Let's credit. do it. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like Rosemary's got a few ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, besides uh, another book, probably later in the year, um, aside from that, really just, reaching out to the community now that things are kind of to where we can go back and connect with each other. I want to make those connections with other like-minded organizations and people. I'm also a a member of Synergy Young Professionals. Nice. Wonderful. And so those are a lot of great individuals in that group as well. And so just really trying to get the conversation out there and connect with other things that are going to help inspire people as well. 
Well, you have inspired us today. Absolutely. <laughs> I you. mean, you can't, you can't be around Sterling and not be smiling. No, you can't. <laughs> He's a wonderful. And I'm yeah. going to draw that parrot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. And then we want to see it. <laughs> yes, Bring I'll have it, it ready. I'll you may be able to come into the live class, and, we'll, and I'll help you draw it. We That's perfect. It yeah. I would love to do that, man. <laughs> so you're, so the littlelightseries.com is a place to go to, to get the book. All, everything people want to know about Sterling is there. That is the central hub, so to speak, awesome. to find all the information. But if you are looking for the books through another route, mm-hmm. uh, they are on barnesandnoble.com, okay. walmart.com. And also Amazon.com. And for those of you who have Sterling's book or books with the new one that recently came out in November, there's going to be a book signing taking place on March 26th at the Greensboro Children's Museum here in downtown Greensboro. So be sure and head over there, take your books, meet Sterling, uh, get him to sign your books. Uh, It will be a wonderful time. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming, Sterling. I'm so glad that you, you know, Ran yeah. into each other. Right. Took, took the time to like hey, <laughs> look, yeah. the interview. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, just go with the flow and then we see how everything worked out. So it was good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice it's to run into It's been a pleasure, you. man. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on the show. All right. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Stay tuned in weekly by subscribing to Talk City Greensboro on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And don't forget, you can download Talk City from SoundCloud. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in to Talk City. Watch GTN, your official source for news and information about the city of Greensboro. GTN is available on Spectrum Channel 13. AT&T U-verse Channel 99. And North State Channel 31. GTN also streams live on Roku and the city's website at at greensboro-nc.gov. Take care.